everybody. Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. I wasn't planning on doing any wig reviews today, um, but then the sun kind of peeked out a little bit, so I thought I would get in front of the camera. I did not have a chance to apply any makeup or anything, but I thought, you know, this is a really cute little no makeup kind of wig style. It's super flattering. This is Kusha Kamana 18 inch by Beltras in the color Roca Margarita Blonde. All the details coming up. I purchased this style with my own funds. You can find it at Wig Studio One. If you drop down below the video in the description box, I will attach a link. You can go out and take a look at all of the colors that this comes in, also the pricing. At Wig Studio One, you always get an automatic 30% off at checkout for all Bell Tress. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to wig support at wigstudioone.com. Kusha Kamana 18 by Bell Tress is a long straight press style, lots of flattering layers, and modern edgy appeal. So let's briefly touch on the Roca Margarita Blonde. This Roca Margarita Blonde is really giving the Butterbeer Blonde a run for its money in terms of my favorite. I really, really love it. Uh, the silver in it, if if you're wondering, just it isn't real overt. Um, it doesn't read silver to me at all. It just kind of reads as a toned white shade. So looking at it then, you're going to see what they call a silver blonde um, and that just looks like a toned down white like they've taken a violet tone or two some white and ended up with a very pale ash tone also you'll see some ash blonde in it in it and you'll also see some beige sandy or beigey notes in it as well the mixture is very cool and ash in tone overall so the root color is really the icing on the cake when it comes to this Roca Margarita Blonde. It's just done perfectly for so many different reasons. It's considered to be a two-tone ash root. So a mixture of some, some dark blondes and some light browns, but both ash and tone. That two-tone ingredient really gives it a beautiful look and transition. You can see the root from all angles of the wig, gives it a nice natural appearance overall. And I just love it. I think it's perfect with this color. Let's take this color a bit deeper and talk about skin tone. Now my skin tone, and this is in its natural state, I haven't a stitch of makeup on anywhere. Uh, I don't even have moisturizer on today. So this is my true skin tone, which is a neutral skin tone. And I feel like it has a little more pink undertone than anything else right now, simply because I am on a Retin-A regimen, which kind of uh, creates some redness. And so I think that's probably what you're noticing there um, um, around my cheeks and eyes, especially. That's kind of where I'm peeling around the mouth, cheeks and eyes right there. It's kind of like some built-in blush, isn't it? <laughs> Um, but overall a neutral type skin tone. So I feel like this color will complement easily a neutral skin tone or uh, something that is uh, more of a cool skin tone. And when you don't have makeup on, it tends to have a washed out effect anyway. But I really think this color kind of flatters a face that doesn't have a lot of makeup on it. Um, especially if you have a lighter skin tone, I think this will blend and complement so nicely. So yeah, Roca Margarita Blonde will be my blonde of choice when I go out without makeup. Kusha Kamana is about eight and a half inches uh, in the front layer here. So that's gonna stretch a couple of inches below my chin. Overall, as the title suggests, it's 18 inches from the crown to the tip of the hair and the back. I feel like that's a very manageable length for sure. It features a lace front, left monofilament side part, as so many of those Beltrus styles have. Let's get up close. It's a wonderful lace front. Well done, temple to temple lace. And then that moves seamlessly back into a left monofilament lace part that runs all the way back to the crown or nearly. 
can definitely see through to the illusion of scalp, but it makes for an incredible looking hairline. So you've probably noticed as well that they bring that lighter silver blonde highlight right up to that lace front. It kind of bands there at the front. I don't think that it's overdone. I think it just really gives a nice soft touch which lightens and brightens around the face. So let's talk about this layering. It's easy to see where the layers cut off, right? So the edge of those layers, that first layer you can see here, and then that bottom layer, very easy. It looks like it's a bit choppy because what they have done is texturize the ends of all of those layers. So it really helps them stand out. It looks very edgy and modern. This is a heat-friendly style by Beltrust in their cafe collection. I can't imagine taking any heat to this. Um, it's just perfect the way it is. And honestly, if I wanted some curl, wave, or body, I probably would choose a different style because they have done this to perfection. I think it weighs right around four ounces. I, di I didn't check that weight measurement, probably between four and five. And it features very little permatease. So what you're going to find in terms of permatease on this one is just a light coating of permatease all around the monofilament and in the back. Now the only place that I sense any palpable permatease on this style is right at the nape. So right along the nape, just to give that a little bit of structure there, I'll find some permatease so I can reach in and feel it. It doesn't feel too thick and heavy. And it does uh, just go a ways to prop up the back of this style because with the straight press style like this, with sort of a lack of a lot of body, you do need some structure in places just to hold it and, and so that it doesn't turn out to be too flat and without style. This is a common density also for the Cafe Collection by Beltress, especially for a straight style. It's just an average density. This fiber is really divine. It's a heat-friendly fiber, as I mentioned. Um, it's very soft, silky, and luxurious. It's very fine, so you're going to be able to see some flyaways in the style, but it's very manageable, and it really does look like natural human hair. The comb just glides, absolutely glides through it. Now what I did right out of the box was I gave it a good shake and uh, took the tags off, inspected it, shook it out, applied it, made my adjustments, and then I, I set about just using the heat from my hand a little bit there at the front for some contour. This one did not come with a baked in contour like uh, some of the other newer styles by Beltress. So uh, this is probably a result of my training there just with the heat of my hand. But again, since it is not permanent, it could probably be tamped down very easily. Right out of the box, it's just rather flat right there, and it kind of hangs in the eyes. And so to be certain that it doesn't bother me while I'm doing the review, I just made a little bit of a contour, and then you'll see me constantly stroking it back away from the face. Again, that's just habit uh, as I train at the style. I think Kusha Kamana 18 is the perfect no makeup kind of wig style. Based on all of this modern texture and layering that frames the face, I don't think anybody's going to be looking at you thinking about your makeup or lack of makeup. I think they're gonna be looking at the hair wondering how you got it so perfect. How did you get it straight pressed and who does the cutting and the layering on your hair? These are going to be some of the questions on people's minds, not the fact that you're not wearing makeup. I think this color is very complimentary as well. In these days, gosh, if you, if you put a hat on, if you put some sunglasses on, or you have a mask, I just think it'll be perfect. There's no reason for makeup with this one. So, got a mask on. You can apply a hat and look really cute in a hat.
Here's an inside look at the cap for Beltress Kusha Kamana 18. Temple to temple lace front does not extend back into the ear tab, seamlessly into a left a monofilament side part there. A closed felted ear tab, nice sturdy stays there. And lots of fiber spliced into that ear tab for nice coverage. There's an extended felted nape here, very soft. Uh, with bra strap type adjusters, lots of wefting and lots of stretch. What you need to know is that I took this in as far as I could and it still is too big for me on a petite average circumference. I love the fine little wispy layers and texture of this style. I think it'll be really fun to either wear down or put in an updo. It's a very casual style, but if you wanted it to be like a sleek back, um, polished ponytail, I think you could achieve that as well. Let's try with glasses. These are my reader glasses from readers.com. Yes, they are sunglasses readers, which have been a godsend for me. I never knew I needed them until I did most everything outside due to the pandemic. Uh, we eat outside, we shop outside in a lot of cases, and it's always nice to have reader glasses that also offer some sun protection. All the links will be below. The glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear top, very safe and secure there. So with this style also, it's gonna be really to, easy to tuck behind the ear. If you want to change the front from left to right, you could do that without disturbing the main part right there on the left-hand side. So it ought to be really fun. Thanks so much for joining me today for an impromptu review of the Beltresses Kusha Kamana 18 in Roca Margarita Blonde. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.